metabolism. So glucose, insulin, um, oxidative stress, right? These, these same themes of metabolism. Look at how anthocyanins work. You can see that purple in this graph represents an increase in the expression of the activity of that, of that pathway or that marker of biology inside the body. And then you can see with that orange color, there's a decrease. Well, this is significant and important because how does this compare to something that we know is really good for your metabolism? And if you had to think about of all the different things, what is one thing you could do that would be good and healthy for it? Well, exercise. As you can see, this metabolically healthy choice, if you look at the bottom there with the asterisk, exercise. Look at how similar the effect is on your metabolism when you compare exercise to anthocyanins. Now, I want to point out this is the direction of how these things are moving these markers in the body. The magnitude of the effect can vary and can differ. So the point here is that, look, anthocyanins are very powerful. They are moving metabolism in a similar way to exercise. And I should mention here, there is added value and added benefits of combining exercise with anthocyanins. The point here is don't just take anthocyanins and forget exercise. No, there's added benefits by combining the more good things we can do.